Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at a must-have 71 Smart Hub from Dot Case. This also has an SSD enclosure in here. Now, this is a beta edition because it's not been released yet, but I thought I'd take a quick look at it because I did like the idea of having a Smart Hub with SSD NVMe enclosure inside that supports 2230 and also 2242 SSD models. So this is the actual unit right here. I'll go through it in a second. We'll power it on. Just want to see what else is inside the box. Inside the box, you're going to get a little short uh, type C cable and you're going to get a little tiny screwdriver with a couple of screws and the actual smart hub slash enclosure as well. So let's take a look at the enclosure and smart hub. So on the bottom here, this is where we can gain access and I can see a fan in there, which means it's going to keep nice and cool. We've got a cool touch screen on here. On this side here, we have a TF slot here, which is your micro SD card slot with speeds up to 312 MBS. We have a 2.1 HDMI port on here as well. And we also have another type C port there, which is your PD port, which stands for power port. And it's a type C 100 watts PD port on there for you to use. Also here, we have also our host area here, which is what you're gonna plug into, into the computer. And again, if you have a computer or a laptop that doesn't have a lot of ports, then using something like this is going to be ideal because you'll be able to have storage and also be able to have external ports on it. Bit of ventilation here as well on this side. Let's move around to the other side. We have an SD port here. Again, you're going to get the same maximum 312 MBS uh, speeds on there, and that's for storage. We've got a USB A port there as well, which is up to 10 GBBS and that's pretty nice as well to have. And we have that USB Type-C there as well, which is going to give you another 10 Gbps as well for there as well. So plenty of external ports to plug your devices into. Let's open the actual device up to see uh, the drive capacity in here, which you can have up to two terabytes SSD NVMe in this little tiny smart hub come uh, SSD enclosure. It's just one screw here. The actual unit is made of aluminium, so I'm just going to basically remove this screw and gain access to it. It would have been nice to see this as a quick access port here so you can gain access to this device. But you can see we do have a fan in here. Now, these are the results from their website, so take this with a pinch of salt, and I'll do some further testing when they release the full version. But the fan is controllable, which means you can adjust the fan speed when you need more fan speed, you can turn it up. Next, we have supported SSDs. They are 2230 and 2242 versions that are supported and a maximum of two terabytes is available inside here. So you can put up to two terabytes in this little device and you can see it right there. There's also a list of some of the supported brands that work with this particular device as well. Supported operating systems are Windows, Mac OS, iPad OS, Linux, Android, Chrome OS, and Harmony. It supports all those. And you can see here, we do have a lovely touchscreen display as well. So the reason why I like this actual device is because if you have a laptop that doesn't have a lot of ports, you're going to get access to those ports. You're getting a HDMI port which supports 4K at 120 hertz and you've also got other ports as well for added more storage so if you add internal storage like two terabytes you'll be able to back up all your ProRes videos all your music photos games and 4k ultra hd videos and even hd videos as well you can even plug in say a usb flash drive and store your data on there and it works perfectly fine as you can see let me stick in this 128 gig micro sd card into here as well and we'll see if this populates and works onto the actual laptop here. So this is gonna be great for people that are content creators that want to back up all of their storage. Maybe you're a photographer and you wanna quickly uh, get all of your photos off of your micro SD card. You can plug it into here and drag all of the contents onto your laptop, whether it be video or photos, you'll be able to drag all that onto the PC. So you've got all your firmware updates, your restore, your about me and fan and also a uh, screensaver, rotate screen, all that sort of stuff on here as well. This is where you can control your fan. If you want to turn it off, you can. If you want to turn it onto auto, which is on by default, it's right there. Or if you want to put it at 70%, you can do. Depending on how you want to set yours up, it's pretty easy to do. So let's click on this uh, about me here, and you can see there's some information there about the actual device. Now, a nice added bonus for this particular model as well is it does have a firmware update on it, which means you can keep the device fully updated. 
So when they release bug fixes or even uh, updates for this particular firmware, you'll be able to hold this and do a firmware update on this particular device, just like I'm showing you here. Also, another feature for this particular device is the SSD health monitoring. You'll receive instant alerts on the status of your SSD. And also you can get SSD information like this right here. This tells you the health of the drive and the temperature of the drive as well. You can even make the drive read only if you wanted to for added protection and security and prevent any modifications or accidental deletions on your particular device. Now, a good thing about this as well is it will allow you to charge your phone. So you've got up to 100 watts of power delivery from this little device. So you can charge and power devices at lightning speeds using your PD port, which we mentioned earlier. Now, this device is in uh, beta at the moment, so it's not been fully released. It's on a Kickstarter as well. And I've reviewed these particular items before from this company, and they've always had good feedback from my viewers for these particular devices and they really do like them so if you're interested then you can check the information out in the video description i'll leave a link down there and these things always launch they never ever fail to launch on kickstarter so it is a pretty decent bit of kit there is the actual uh, website there if you're interested to take a look at it you can see smart hub usb-c hub with seven in one with an M.2 SSD enclosure inside. I think this is really going to be a decent uh, bit of kit for everyone to have. You can drop iVentoy on here and have all your ISOs on here, and it will be great for installing stuff and also backing up stuff as well, depending on how you want to use yours. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall see you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.